Good morning. Oh, hang on. No, we're not morning. Sorry, afternoon. I might actually get with it at some point today. Uh, yeah, here I am again. Um, this time I'm going to be uh, showing you the uh, Mineral Touch Foundation. Um, you see, you. this is what really annoys me about Facebook. Well, this Facebook Live thing makes everything backwards, so that probably probably doesn't even read much to you guys. But yeah, so Mineral Touch Foundation. This is the liquid, and I love it. The coverage is absolutely fantastic. I really, really love it. Hi, Rianne. How are you doing, sweetie? Uh, yeah, so the Mineral Touch Foundation, I really, really like it. Um, coverage is great. Um, does wonders for me. I mean, you can. this light's a bit weird again, but um, I get really quite red. My nose, my chin, across like my mouth and, and my forehead quite a lot. Um, and this covers it up with the tiniest, tiniest amount. I mean, I've had this for ooh, over a month now and yeah i've not i've hardly used any of it and i've used it pretty much every day since i've had it and yeah it's great so right priming hi claire how are you doing um priming always prime when you're putting foundation on it let's just say it's a crime not to prime haha <laughs> remember that one ladies um basically a primer will help with um evening out your skin tone and uh, pores and all that and basically give you a clean blank canvas for you to work on with your foundation. Hi Jo! Um, yeah, it gives you that blank foundation, blank foundation, ugh, blank canvas to work on for your foundation um, and it also helps to stop it from, hi Jan, it helps to stop it from sinking into your skin, um, so yeah and sliding off like makeup can do if you don't prime properly always moisturize and prime that's the two things you must must do before wearing foundation you will see a massive difference if you don't do that already now i have already done both of those and given myself a chance for the um my primer to set into into my skin so without further ado i'm gonna i'm gonna start with i've already done my eye makeup i'm gonna start with doing just like one half of my face so you can see the difference in the coverage and the redness that it that it covers up um i'm not even gonna put any concealer on just now because i'm just gonna go for a light nice light coverage so i'm gonna get my flat top kabuki i'm gonna start with that and that's my my go-to brush hi karen thanks for popping by sweetheart how are you um yeah so here we are look that's my brush and I am literally going to stick on there one two three four drops that's it this is exactly why this and actually to be honest that will do my whole face those four drops will do my whole face not half but I'm just going to go with just the half an hour so I'm just going to blob all over where I'm gonna go and then I'm just gonna gently buff it in now I'm actually trying to look into my mirror while I'm doing this because um otherwise I can't see <laughs> whether I'm whether I'm doing it right I haven't got my glasses on either which doesn't really doesn't help but here we are now my light is definitely very very weird at the moment so I apologize if this looks yellowy and odd I do have the right color foundation on them I do promise I'm not there get into the get it into the corners my brush desperately needs a clean so it's just let's go in Covering up all my horrible red bits. 
Um, yeah, so I mean that's just that's just one side. I mean you can still see all my redness here, but it's especially here I get very red, and that's disappeared. So just like sneak through for for a wee watch. Oh, that's that's good. Rianne is great to have watches. You know, and um, me just jabbering on about my about my makeup. So yeah, so that's given me a beautiful finish on on my face. It's not sitting in any any of my creases, which I do have creases, especially in the corners of my eyes now. That's my my worst places at the moment. So it's not sitting in any of those creases, and it's just looks beautiful. So I'm gonna go and. Oh dear, I don't want that much. Suck that back up. I'm going to go and finish the other side. Again, I'm just going to give it a good dab all over. Oh god, I look like I've gone all really shiny. Please tell me if this lighting's really terrible because from what I can see on the preview on my phone, it looks absolutely awful. Um, in under my eye. need to sort out my lighting situation here. I'm currently standing at my bedroom window doing this and you know more people wandering by probably wondering what the heck I'm doing standing here yapping to myself. There we are. That is that is my coverage. There we go, I don't know if you can see. just totally sorted out my red bits which is exactly what I wanted to do and that's without the concealer now obviously if you if you've got slightly darker under eye circles the concealer is perfect for that but redness is my is my big problem and the foundation covers that no problems whatsoever also I had a little spot on my chin as well that's covered up completely disappeared and I tend to get spots under here not quite sure always in the same place but under here and they they're gone too so that's pretty good coverage right I'm, I'm that is the uh, yeah so that is a liquid um, liquid foundation which is beautiful it's so so light and as you as you saw you don't do not need very much at all to um, to cover anything to cover all those blemishes it it's brilliant so I'm just gonna give that a chance to dry properly and it dries to a powder finish which which I really really love I think it's it's beautiful it's just so soft right I'm gonna actually go in and do a bit of bit of contouring now you know as we do just give myself a bit of bit of shape around my face because obviously once you've got your foundation on it you uh, lose all those natural natural shadows so you kind of look a bit ghostly um so i always suggest just a little bit of contouring i know some people go completely mad for contouring but it's it's not it's not necessary really even because i'm using a very very light powder um and you know that's just enough to bring back those those natural shadows without looking completely overdone which is you know on a day-to-day -day basis you don't we you don't really want to we don't want to look completely over the top well I don't anyway some people do some people like that kind of thing so there you go stick a bit of that in and then I'm gonna go in with my powder blush which is spirited which is actually one of the limited edition colours at the moment which is available it's got a gorgeous gorgeous shimmer to it um i'm literally just got i've got like a big fat fluffy brush here and i'm just going to pop some of that on and again with these with the with the blush you don't you don't need a lot because they are so pigmented that it's it's gonna last ages. 
really is going to last a long, long time. So, there we go. A little bit of colour. That's not looking too bad, does it? Now, I'm going to have to put something on my lips because it's um they're looking a bit weird. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for something just natural. Just to clear this clear gloss, which is our hotty lip plump. And this is my new, this is my new best friend. I love it. Um, yeah, it's, this is designed to, well, like it says in the name, it is a lip plumper. Um, when you pop it on, you get a really weird tingly sensation. And you find over about 30 minutes, um, your lips get all nice and plump. And it, it looks, it looks fabulous. So I'm just going to pop some of this on. It's just a clear gloss. And what's great about this is you can pop it over or under any of any of your lipsticks that you've got. And that will eventually over yeah, over about half an hour or so, you get nice plump lips. So I'm just gonna sit here and pout at you. What do you reckon? No. Right, so that's yeah, so that is That's the foundation, and that is me ready to rock and roll for the rest of the day, I think. It's, um, it's very quiet here. Finn's at nursery today, so peace and quiet for me for now. And, yeah. So if you've got any questions at all about the um, about the Mineral Touch foundation, you know, the, there are other options available. We have the liquid, there is a cream, and there's, um, there's pressed powders as well. So, um, you know, if you've got any questions about any of them, do just let me know. And um, I'll get I'll get back to you. Thanks again for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye.